Hey Hawks! So you got your Chromebook for your distance learning. Excellent. So here's what you need to do. The first thing you need to do is open it up. Okay, so when you open up your Chromebook, it's gonna load. And uh, you wanna wait for the load screen. There you go. And it should come to the main, main menu over here. So then, if you don't see your name up on the screen already, it means it's the first time that you've logged into the Chromebook. So then you're gonna look and you're going to find, go to the bottom of the screen where it says add person. This is the first time you've used the Chromebook, so you wanna make sure you go right there to where it says add person. It'll come up here and then it'll, then it'll ask you for your email and your password. Your email is always your first name followed by your last name. And it's at district8nd.org. So that would be your email address. Then you're going to, then it's gonna ask you for your password. So you put in your password, and then you can always hit this little uh, eyeball over there to make sure you put in the right password. And then you hit next. It'll, since it's the first time you've logged in, it's gonna ask you to go through all this information, make sure you go through it with your parents, and then hit accept. If you have to do it this way, because it's very important that you get all the bookmarks that we've set up for you. If you try going in any other way, you're not gonna have access to Zoom, you're not gonna have access to your Google Classroom, you're not gonna have access to any of the other apps that your teachers have asked us to load on there. So you'll find bookmarks in two different places. One up, up over here, where it says District 8 bookmarks, but more importantly, the ones you'll find down here, you can search for. So if you're looking for Zoom, which is a pretty popular one right now, you just go over, make sure you go over to this circle here, and then you type in the word Zoom, and it'll zo load the Zoom app. And then you just put in the information that your teacher asks you. If you try to go to Zoom any other way, you're not gonna be able to get on because it's gonna ask you to download it. We've already downloaded it for you, so it's important that you do this. I'm gonna go through it one more time. So in order to get to the Zoom bookmark, you're gonna go over here to this little launch circle and then type in the word Zoom. If, you, if you've already done it once, it'll automatically save in there for you, so it'll be there. And then it'll pop up and then put in the information that your teacher gives you to get on there. And then it's that simple. Then you're in, um, it'll also, you'll also have access to all the other bookmarks that we've set up over here. Um, your star testing, uh, the smarter balance testing, uh, and any of the other bookmarks that your teachers tell you to go to, you should be able to type in and find over there. This will also give you access to your Google Classroom. All right, well, if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns about tech, go ahead and call me or email me. You'll find uh, my n number and email address here on the website.